it was dumb, and nobody will do it. Yeah, yeah, he's got to learn, bro. Oh, by the way, did you guys see that they, they're making that TV show based on the Karate Kid? No. They're, they're making, making a TV show with the same actors, um, Ralph Macchio, and the guy who played, I, I forget the actor's name, that played his rival in the Karate Kid. That guy opens up the Cobra Kai studio again. Well, dopamine, yes, thank you. Wait a minute, so this, uh, the original actors are coming back? Right. They're coming back. <laughs> what the fuck? The original villain is going <laughs> to reopen the Cobra Kai studio, and then Daniel's son, I, I don't know if he opens his own karate studio, but, like, yeah, it's going to be a show. It's going to be, I don't know wouldn't if it's going to be, be a TV show. They, wouldn't it be good if they just made it a comedy instead? They open up across <laughs> from each other, and they're, like, competing against each other to try to get <laughs> people to come to their dojo. <laughs> Like, like, there's kids walking by, and they're like, hey, you know, you should join my dojo, you know, and then the kid's like, fuck you, I, I like, I'm going home to play fucking Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, because they don't give a fuck about that shit now. So no. then the, the, the Cobra guy across the street, he he sends his lanky, lackey guy to China, and he invades one of those fucking sweatshops, and, uh, <laughs> and takes all the kids, and then, like, for like three weeks, puts them in a window and lines them up and gets them doing all this karate stuff. And then it, that attracts people from the outside who want to be karate people too. And then, then he signs up the white people and then he ships the Chinese people back. And none of the white people knew these weren't even Japanese people. It's a <laughs> yeah, fucking they amazing... they all look the same. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, like, <laughs> it'd be like that movie uh, Neighbors or whatever the fuck, that one that came out recently. With the like the neighbors were having all those sorority parties or whatever. Oh right, right. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I'd be like that. You know, the the, the dojo, It'd be fucking crazy. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, they they in, they infiltrate the Foxconn where they're fucking making cell phones and they just hire them and, to put them in the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and then right at the beginning, you know, he comes over. He goes, you know, Daniel's son. He fucking he opened it up first, right? So of course the Cobra guy opened his second, right, and copied him or whatever. And then he comes over and Daniel's like, so you're opening up a dojo too? And he goes, yeah, right next door. And then, then he walks over and he goes, and Mr. Miyagi's ashes are on the fucking desk. Oh. And he just grabs it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes uh, so uh, it's so sad that, uh, that, he's, that he passed on. You know? And then Daniel's like, yeah, yeah, he was a great man. He goes, yeah, he sure was. And then he just grabs him and then dumps him upside down. And fucking <laughs> he fucking dumps him over Daniel's head like... Oh my god. There's your fucking master for How you. How's that? that? <laughs> oh my god. They start the movie like that. And Daniel's like, you know, he's he closes his eyes and he gets really angry for a second. And then he goes, Your old your your master was nothing but a stupid gook. And then fucking <laughs> <laughs> and, Jesus Christ. And then and then two bully guys come in from the side and then they beat the shit out of him for a second. And, and, <laughs> and then one of the guys eats the ashes. And and then oh and then god. and then oh Daniel Ashes are you dead fuzz. And, and then Daniel has like one student only and he's there watching this whole thing. And then the parents of the kid go, Let's get out of here and then as they walk by he goes, You know, you couldn't even protect yourself against those men. You're a shitty teacher, the kid says. <laughs> yeah, as he's <laughs> as he's still covered in fucking Mr. Miyagi's ashes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Like it's on his nose and shit, like a pile of them. <laughs> like I <laughs> Remember how Yokozuna used to take, like, the salt and, like, throw it up yeah. in the air and shit? That's how it looked like he was be throwing the fucking ashes. And the whole the whole reason the Cobra guy started this gym and shit is because he wants to make money, right? Like, he's going to make a lot of money, and, like, Daniel's car is, like, broken down and shit. So then Daniel just says, you know what? Fuck all this fucking fighting and karate shit. And he just opens up a fucking candy store. And then he outsells the guy. And then that's the end of the movie is he becomes rich off fucking karate candy bars. And his fucking partner is Artie Lang from Beer League. Like, <laughs> dude, I would watch this show. I would, I would watch that show. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with us, dude? What the fuck? Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Listen, we... uh, from Beer League. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you see, you see Artie Lang like walks up to him with his, and, the, and Daniel's son still got the ashes on his fucking nose, and Artie Lang takes the ashes and puts him in a pipe and just starts smoking. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. takes him yeah. in his finger and he rubs it off his face. And he... <laughs> he he rubs on his gums like it's coke. <laughs> like he's fucking <laughs> sniffing. And, he, and, and from then on, from then on, the whole series, he has this fucking awful sneeze now. <laughs> he just can't shake. 
like Tommy NC when he sneezes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so the joke is like, Artie, Artie, after he fucking sniffs the ashes, he goes, <laughs> and then, they, so then he's like, oh man, this what a, I've never sneezed like that before. And then like the next episode, he comes over or something, and he goes, oh, he goes, oh, man, I've been, I've been doing that ever since I snorted that amazing cocaine yesterday. And he's like, and that every was time he sneezes, he gets like a fucking, he wants to wax fucking classic cars <laughs> and paint fences and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Phantom flaws. <laughs> so then he's gonna go see a doctor, and the doctor's uh fucking uh Dave, what's his face from fucking Curb Your Enthusiasm? <laughs> oh fucking um Larry David. Larry David, yeah, it's fuck. His doctor's Larry David. He doesn't do anything oh. to help him. He's <laughs> like, I sniffed this cocaine. He's like, well, I don't see anything wrong with you. And then Larry's just like, well, I swear, doc, something. <laughs> 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 and like you know he does this until he finally dies in real life and then they have to just write him off at some point <laughs> yeah dude I can't believe he's still alive bro he does a fucking lot of damage to his body that fucking if guy. you put oh. if you put him in like one of those fucking hospital outfits like or like it hospice bed like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hospice bed dude what the fuck <laughs> And then, and then, fucking Danny, <laughs> Danny Torrance from The Shining has to fucking put him to sleep. <laughs> he said, "Put him in a hospice <laughs> Like, motherfuckers. <laughs> if you could, if you I could, can't breathe, I can't breathe. <laughs> he said out of nowhere, "Put him in a hospice <laughs> Like, I'm convinced that he's in the top ten people that are walking around that look like they should be dead. He is yeah, in that top ten. He looks like, like Yoda right before he dies in like the Yoda death scene. Like, yeah. he's like sick and fucking dead. Imagine Yoda in a hospice bed. <laughs> I'm telling you, you so, put him next to Artie and have people vote on who's going to die, he, Artie might win. Dude, I'm really sick. I am. It's gotta be. <laughs> it's gotta be Audi, Yoda, and when E.T. is all sick hey, in the middle. I'm about to movie. die. I might. Remember when we were doing name famous people who could fucking who's gonna you know uh, die get next harassment charges. Oh, oh right, right, right. It's a good bit. Maybe we should do something like you know like Howard Stern used to do because he used to have the death pool. Right. We should do a fucking death pool like where you could fucking call in and pick. And pick a somebody who you think is gonna be dead. You gotta stick with that one pick, and you get like two months to like keep that pick, you know, going and see if they die or not. And, like he would definitely be. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the picture you just put up, dude. <laughs> if this wasn't, it wasn't for this bright flash bulb. He would look like a fucking shell of a fucking man. Look, look at his nose. Look at his nose. He looks like Ben Franklin's corpse, dude. What? It, <laughs> <laughs> if you could, if you could, uh, be, if you could take uh, Gary Busey's brain and put a physical image to it, you'd get Artie Lang's face. <laughs> Here he is. Look at this. That's Artie, man. He's like dressed up. Oh uh, like what? <laughs> he got a snow hat and sunglasses because <laughs> it's probably fucking ninety degrees out. You know why? It's because he just sniffed fucking uh, Mr. Miyagi's ashes right here. That's what that is. <laughs> That's why he looks like this. Look at that. That ain't even a real Electra voice that he's using. He's using the mock-up, the $300 one, not even the $400. Dude, he looks like King Boo in Super Mario World, dude. Joe. Joe. Yo. 